Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. Welcome. Today I'm going to tie for you a pattern called the Wright's Royal. This was developed by Philip Wright to be used on our Big Hole River here in Montana. You're probably all familiar with the Royal Wolf. That is a the royal combination of peacock, red floss, and peacock. It's a terrific attractor for fish, but uh, Philip developed this for caddisfly hats. And you'll see the similarity between the two, and perhaps next time you're facing a caddis hot fly hatch, you should select this instead of the Royal Wolf. So let's take it up. Yeah, I'm using it. a 1X long dry fly hook. This happens to be U001 in a size 14. You can tie this smaller or larger. Anytime I tie a royal pattern for the abdomen, I like the extra shank length of one extra long, just to have room for everything. Red is 10 aught vivas and black. I'm going to start this uh, not quite halfway down the hook shank. And then peacock eye. Your best, your best peacock comes from an eyed stick. I'm going to take about five or six of these. and cut them off next to the quill. Always line up your peacock curl. Doesn't have to be lined up perfectly, just roughly. You're going to be cutting off about an inch and a half off the tips. The tips are simply too, too brittle to uh, be able to wind without breaking it. Tie it here and tie it to the back, the end of the bend like so, and then bring our thread forward just in front of the hook point. And just a couple of turns. We're going to make this basically thirds, third peacock, third floss, third peacock. And then this is single strand uni floss in red. If you have some of the older four strand floss, just separate one strand from the bunch. If you dampen the tip of it, it makes it a little easier to control. Floss likes to fray. And I want to butt this right up against where the peacock ended. Just right over the hook shank. Hook point, pardon me. And then a couple of wraps. Floss is easy to flatten or to round it up simply by spinning it. I don't want a real big body here, just enough to show the red. Underwater, this fly actually, the peacock looks brown. Excuse me, the red floss looks brown and the peacock looks olive. So who knows what the fish are actually taking this for. I'm going to go ahead and lay a thread base to the rest of the hook shank before I tie in hair. I'm going to use some yearling elk. You don't need a lot of it just enough to give it the profile from underneath and for you to see it. Cut it, clean it. And slip it into the hair stacker. The wing is going to be a little longer than you're used to on caddisfly imitations. This is actually going to be a hook gap widths past the end of the shank. All right about there. Pinch it tight, take two wraps, pull it, 
several more wraps to make sure it doesn't spin on you and then cut it off at an angle use your thread to kind of taper these butts so that we have a nice even base for our hackle For hackle, I'm using some golden badger. I think if you had just brown, it would be all right, but I love the way the golden badger looks. Tie this right in front of the wing. Make sure that the shiny side is facing forward. Also make sure you've prepared the feather so that the first portion of this that hits the hook shank itself, which is on top here, is bare of hackle. If you don't, when that hits the hook shank, the hackle will flare forward, which you don't want. So by taking that off and then tying this so that we have about a half a wrap of bare quill before we actually hit the hackle itself, you'll see that the hackle wraps much ni more nicely. All right, nice and smooth. Then one really good peacock hurl. We want a fairly long one right up by the eye. To help reinforce it, I'm going to put just a little bit of head cement on that thread base. And once again, trim off the tip of your peacock curl. That first inch or so is just too tender to wrap. We want to tie this in. Peacock curl, as I mentioned before, doesn't just grow out straight from the sides. It grows out in a Y shape, just like ostrich does. So we want that hurl to be facing forward as we wrap it so we have the quill preceding it. And that way, we have a nice full um, hackle wrap. All right, so I have the hurl portion of the peacock facing up. Tie it down. This is very tender, so be careful as you wrap it. But I think you can see that the actual quill portion of it is towards the hook eye, and the hurl itself is towards the wing. Leave some room to tie this off. And then our badger hackle is going to be wrapped over the top of the peacock. Having the hackle up front like this will also allow you to skitter this caddis fly if you want to give it some motion. Typically, when adult caddises are on the water, they're very active. Okay, remove the rest of the hackle. couple wraps to clean up the head and then whip finish. So if you're a fan of the Royal Wolf, like to fish it during mayfly hatches, think about the Wrights Royal for caddisfly hatches. It has a proven track record, easy to tie, and doesn't use any exotic materials. So thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time.